I feel like I don't know what we're doing because we haven't filmed it. I know. You just want to start? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Hello. What's up? Welcome back to another episode. Fishing, not, not catching podcast. Mm. Man, <laughs> it's uh, you know, we post the last one we posted. Um, what, what was the last pod? We were just at the warehouse. Yeah, and we probably filmed that. A while ago. A while back. Because that one was filmed before the with one Dylan, we filmed with Dylan and, and Blaine. And, uh, and it's been a while since we did that. So we're, we're out of well, practice. A couple weeks. It, it, it's, been, it's been busy. Yeah. We've been busy, Brad. Very, very busy. we got a lot busy. to talk about. Yes. A lot of stuff. we got stuff. we gotta, we got to knock this out and go do some more stuff. Yeah, I know. we we got a busy day, man. <laughs> yeah. But uh, let, let me. I just want to start out with this, okay? We knew that this would be hard, like, this whole project, this whole endeavor. Right. And of course, everybody on the outside looking in is like, oh, that's going to be hard. Yeah. I don't know that anybody knew how hard it was going to be. Like, as not at all. As hard as I was prepared for this to be. And, and, and I think this is across, across the board in our organization, uh, like with everybody that's involved. I think everybody would feel the same way. Like, they knew it would be hard. Right. And everybody was prepared for that. But I think the, whatever level of hard we were prepared for, you can multiply that by 10. <laughs> yeah. And that's the reality. 100%. I think for me, like, I, I mean, especially me and you, I mean, the, some of the other people involved have done similar things like this before, not retail, but they've started businesses mm-hmm. and grown businesses and been very successful. But this is kind of like our first yeah. entry into this kind of thing. So I had no idea what to expect. Right. But with our position within everything we're doing, I didn't really anticipate, which I still really haven't done a whole lot of work compared to what everybody else has, do, has been doing. And that's but what I didn't really like. anticipate doing much work. Right. And like, well, that wasn't we're, we're the way, original plan. We're, right. But yeah. we've been way more involved, which has been fun. I mean, right. I, yeah. I have enjoyed being able to do that. Like we've, we've had to make decisions and we've had mm, to yeah, a lot. go make connections and phone calls and figure stuff out. A lot, and so like we're we're a lot more involved, which is cool and it's fun. It is fun. Um, it's just a lot of work. Yeah, it is a lot of work. Yeah, and what we're talking about, in case you you know are jumping in or unfamiliar, uh, we have a tackle store. <laughs> we have a tackle store. <laughs> if this is your first uh, time. We're, we're, yeah, we're just assuming you know, <laughs> but uh, we started the tackle store, and you know, just a uh, a quick in a nutshell, me and Brad both have YouTube channels, uh, fishing YouTube channels, and uh, we've grown audiences. YouTube and Facebook, and uh, we're, we're launching a tackle store and a, a brand, but not only a tackle store. It, you know, th- th- it's it's kind of selling itself short just to say we have a tackle store. Right. Um, it, there's a lot more moving parts to it than that, and you know, there's and then we've talked about so much. I mean, because we're 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 launching a, a physical the tackle store. You know, the outdoor store, mm-hmm. which. If you get a chance to come to this thing, which I hope you do, yeah, um, you will walk it's in. It's a must see. You will realize that it is not it like anything you've seen. Yeah, and we're not we're not hyping this up. Like I'm probably under hyping it. It is you have never experienced anything like this. So I'm, I'm glad. Uh, I mentioned we've had to make decisions and stuff, but I'm glad I was not one making any decisions on what was going in the tackle store because it looks way better oh, the, than like what design, I ever could have designed. It, yeah, yeah, no. Like it is, they did an incredible job. It's amazing. And the floor, every time I walk in and I look at those epoxy floors, I'm like, oh my God, yeah, no, this so, is so cool. So sexy, yeah. It's so cool. And we still got a lot of cool stuff going. We got a whole, like, I don't know what you want to call it, banner or whatever, mural, mural going yeah. on the back wall. and yeah. We got some more artwork coming that's going to look sweet. I've been in a lot of bait and tackle stores across, you know, the state of Florida. You know, even up the East Coast, up in um, Carolinas. And we went in several when I was in Cape Cod. I've never been in anything like this. They're all the same. They are all the same. And that was our plan from the get-go is we want to be different. We do not want to be like any other tackle store. Right. And it's definitely not. No. So far from it, it's amazing. Uh, we're we're very proud of it, and I, th- I think rightfully so. But it's not. Um, I mean, it's, it's it's pretty much a small scale Bass Pro Shop. Yeah, it really. But even but I mean, even, we're not like two hundred thousand square foot like Bass yeah, Pro Shop. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Bass Pro is amazing, um, <laughs> especially like building what we've built. Understand like the degree that Bass Pro is at. It's like wow, you know, yeah. whoever pioneered that is which it's impressive. I, I don't. It it is. I, I mean, guess it, what's the guy's name? Um, 
Oh, I can't remember his name. Who started Bass Pro? Yeah. I don't know. The owner, CEO, whatever. I mean, I pro- we probably should know, um, being, being in this industry. But you definitely man, know his name when I say it. We, I just, I can't even, I can't even regurgitate just like everything that's taken to get to the point that we're at right now. Johnny Morris. Who is that? Is it was he like a professional fisherman? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Johnny Morris. <laughs> I mean, I should probably know who that is. I don't know. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. I don't know if he was. I'm not, sure he's famous. It's a very popular like. When you say his name, you're like, oh, Johnny Morris. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know. I should probably know. I don't Sorry, know. I, that's probably very offensive. You know? yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny, Sorry, if Johnny. you're listening. <laughs> but if he is the one that pioneered Bass Pro, like, holy smokes, that's yeah. impressive. Like, I mean, I'm I'm in, in awe. We should know that man because if he went through what we're going through, I can only imagine. We should hit him up on Instagram <laughs> see if he wants to come to get the some grand infor- I know, get some information. Because, <laughs> I mean, you got to th- – oh, I mean, just from the inception of this and uh, – to now and we're we're almost there because we're, as we're filming this uh which i'll probably post this one pretty quick but um we're, we're it's friday we're two weeks away from our scheduled grand opening yes and it is everybody's hair is on fire right now um stress levels are high yes there's still so much to be done and i mean we're so close but it's like there's just so many details i know i mean every day and it's like it like and it's the same way with everything whether you're building a house or starting a business or whatever. Like there's so many steps you have to go through and there's always things changing. And then you got governments. And <laughs> that, that's inspections. been, Oh man. I mean, you know, we've just learned like, so much. Holy cow. Yeah. Like they just, the government really does make it as hard as possible for a small yeah. business. I mean, really they do. It, it, it kind of blows my mind. It, you wouldn't think you would think like, Oh, we should come alongside you and help you and be supportive of you. Like you're bringing, economy to, right. to our city and and business and tourism and yeah. money and taxes and yep. like all these things that pay our bills but we're gonna just gonna make it as hard as we humanly possibly yeah, they, can like i just, do not want it like it just easy. it doesn't like where's the disconnect there i don't know man. You, you know like how does that even like how do they not you would think like oh we should be like all about you and right. you know what can we do to support you and get you up and going but it it is the exact yeah. opposite. Like some of the things that they've <laughs> made us do, like it seems silly. And, and, and this is probably like taboo to sit here and talk about the city and all that stuff. But I don't know. I mean, and I'm sure they're gonna make our life harder. <laughs> if, if 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 a city official watches this, they're gonna get their feelings hurt because <laughs> yeah. they're evidently very emotional people. Right. I just don't get it. I no, really like don't some of the things it. though. Like w- w- they've made us change some stuff and, and add and some I, stuff. I, and, there's and regulations. Mo- like most I get of it. it I get it. When you really think about it, like it makes sense, right? Okay. okay. But it, but it's like silly stuff. It's but like, it's also really but like that's a, a rule. But here's the thing. Yes, I get that. That there's like, you know, you gotta follow the rules. Yeah. hundred percent. I get it. We're on board with that. But they don't make it easy. No. And they don't make it clear. No. And they <laughs> and they keep coming and, and they, it's like they don't even know the rules either is the problem. It's like they'll come in and like, oh you gotta do this, this, and this, and like, okay, you do this, this and this, they come back, oh well, you gotta do that like yeah. That that's literally what's happening. It's yeah. like, time out. Like we just need to know from the get go here, so we can get this crap done. Yeah. So we can get. And that's the, like because it was the same thing. Like when I was working for the builder, they they don't know, and then so, like they see one thing or they're trying to trying to make you go a different route. But at the end of the day, all they care about is a, a letter from a, an engineer or an architect. And so if you do something, and they say you're not supposed to do it. You just call your engineer. You pay him some money. He writes you a letter, and the city goes, okay. Because it's at the end of the day, it's all a liability thing. Right, yeah. So if we do they something, just don't want liability to fall on somebody sues whoever. us, and we're like, well, the city let yeah. us do that. And so right. the city liability has to fall on somebody, and yeah. that's why the engineers, they have insurance. And so if they sure. sign off, the liability is on the engineer. Look, I get it. I get it. There's reasons for it. But it just it fits. Gulf Shores, we love you. It, we do. Yeah, we love you guys. And, and they have been uh, evidently, you know, nice. And yeah. you know, but it's just like I, I just wish there was a little bit better process, you know, yeah. so that because this is drug out and you know and, and slowed us down. Yeah. Um, that part. And I mean, to be fair, some some of it is on us for not. Knowing every single but how, rule but, but, but and regulation, but there's so many. How the crap right. can you know? It's, when we get like to taxes. when, like, we, when we get no to way. the next store, like we'll know. Okay, we got to do this. Right, thing. we, we got to put this here. But we if we go, but there. when we go to different cities, oh, it's going to be new. <laughs> <laughs> whole new set of rules. You know? <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> 
Anyway, we're we're we're, we're griping and complaining, Sorry. but that, like it's just it, that's what's fresh, you know, because it's just holding us up. But uh, and, and you know the stress level just kind of you know is yeah. amplified with we everything do, else. We do have our final inspection. To, well, hopefully, <laughs> or, assuming they Quote pass unquote. us, we do have an inspection today. It is today. Today, okay. And we had our fire inspection yesterday, and they passed us. Yeah, or maybe two days ago. We have the final one today, and if they pass us. We get our business license, but there are some. And we're th- good to go. There are some like, not a business license. Or, um, there are some things that call. don't that are pretty silly though, like the plants. That was that's pretty silly. That was definitely silly. Yeah, I mean, like, so, there, there's a lot of stuff that does make sense. Like, yeah. okay, and, and 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 again, I even understand like kind of where they're coming from on that, but it's like, really, yeah. What's frustrating, <laughs> which I don't know that we even asked the landlord because we don't know in this building, but I don't, I don't right. know that we asked the landlord, but that one in particular should have been something the landlord should have paid for. Yeah. Because if the city requires us, the city required us to put in 100 bushes in front of the store. Yeah. In between the palm trees. Yeah. And if, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's just like, it's more work, it's more money, it's more. Uh, right. It's and so for me, like, some of the things, like, we added an HVAC, we talked to the landlord, they didn't want to pay for it, but that was something we didn't have to do that. Sure, we wanted right. to do that. Sure, sure. But if we have to add these bushes you would, to yeah, open yeah. business, the landlord should have covered that one. Yeah. But I mean, like, I if I can't even do business, well, it wasn't, it, honestly, it wasn't like a money thing because it wasn't like a ton of money. Right. I mean, it's money, but it wasn't a ton. That one in this year, but it's just the time. Like, yeah, like okay. seriously. Yeah, it takes us away from the other crap that we could be doing, and now we got to do this. And put these plants in, yeah. You know, because there's just so many things to do. We have help. We have people that can help us, but it's like they're already doing stuff, right? And you know, it's like we're, so everybody's diving in, and that and that's what I think is the realization. And it it hit me in Tampa, the moment that it hit me that I'm like, this is a lot more than I anticipated. Was you know we were down in Tampa. I, I went. I was rode down there with you, right, and Brant and Freddie, and we went down there just to film some silly videos. Was the plan, and then and and I got <laughs> and I and, yeah. and you walk in and it's just like all hell broke loose. Okay, here we <laughs> here we go. You, you know, and yeah. it, it, like it, it, the weight of it, I felt then, and because my original plan, this was the week of Christmas, like leading up to Christmas, and my our original plan was to go down there for a few days, film. We're gonna try come, to fish. Yeah, <laughs> but I know, have, have this nice trip. Uh, you know, we go down there for a few days, end up like, oh crap. So we help. You guys had to get back, so you guys leave. I stay. And I, I'm there for the whole week. We we honestly, we were trying to get done. We weren't even sure if we we're gonna make it back for Christmas because we were just like we're, we're getting the heck out of Tampa, right? Um, you know, packing up these trucks and everything. And it was just we moved like a month early. Yeah, right. You know, some stuff happened. We just realized we, we needed to pull out a little bit quicker. And so we were getting all the stuff you know, packed up. And yeah, I know. I, I was I was wondering <laughs> if you were gonna jump on that. We say we're gonna be more careful about this when we're <laughs> while in the store. I know. I was trying to practice for that, Brad, because yeah, we're we're like an inch away here from. Uh, be, I was waiting for you to jump on that one. I, we're, we're like about to be in the store in front this of. This is children. probably our last podcast that we will not be filming. In. From here on out, we'll probably be filming. In Maybe the store. we might have one. You know, depending depending because like we can't even use the podcast booth right now. I mean, it's just there's still a lot going on yeah. in there, and and it's there's stuff in there, but. Uh, yeah, if you don't know, we're going to be doing live podcasts yeah. at the store that we're talking about. We have a podcast booth there, which the sign is amazing, is unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, Alabama Burning did it for free. I mean, yes. amazing. Hooked shout up, shout out man. to that guy. Uh, I think I think we're going to get some more artwork in there. But he made us a fishing not catching podcast wooden sign. We put a backlight on it. It's right above our podcast booth. It looks amazing. Yeah, I'm so stoked. super cool. Uh, but anyway, hit me in Tampa. Uh, we realized we had to get get the heck out of there, and so I stayed for the week. It was just it was stressful. Rapid the the I call it hell week. That's that's literally how I refer to it because I mean it was just it was hell. And and wrapping rods and bubble wrap to get them here. And what's funny is like I I've seen this process now the whole way through. Like yeah. it, it's it's and it's and it's kind of weird. It's kind of a surreal feeling like seeing a rod that I wrapped in bubble wrap now sitting. In, in bubble wrap still <laughs> right. in the Gulf Shores location, yeah. you know, because it went from Tampa to Foley, from Foley to Gulf Shores, and like, like everything that's hap- happening, but everything that has had to take place to get to these points, it's like, wow. And, and me and you yesterday were setting up reels yeah. in the reel cases, in the store. It's like, we're, we're like, we're here, yeah. you know, we're almost here. Uh, it, it's, a, it's amazing. Like it, as hard as it's been uh, to get to that and like everything along the way. Um, 
I mean, there's just so many moments. It's like, man, this sucks. Yeah. And and you, and you, and it's fine. Like you know, I've, so many times, you know, you, you want to have a good attitude and you have to be, stay positive. You know, throughout all of this. But I, I feel like it's okay to recognize sometimes that like this sucks, but we just have to do it. Right. You know, and and I I think I think there's a misconception like you just ha- always have to put on a good face. And I'm like. I don't. I think it's better just to be honest. Like, there's a, a lot of things that are exciting and that are fun and that are cool that we get to do. Mm-hmm. But there are moments when it's like, this just freaking sucks. Yeah. And, that, that, and I'm just and I'm just honest about. It. I'm like, this sucks. But you know yeah. what? We got to do it. <laughs> you got to do it. It's got to get done. Yeah. So we're doing it. I know. I'm very interested to see like the feeling, like when we have the grand opening, like we have people shopping here, like because yeah. like. We can sit here and say, like, we're almost there, it's, it's real now, but, like... It's still not. It's yeah. still, like, yeah. we're not open. We haven't sold anything right. in the store yet. And so when, like, we see, hopefully, <laughs> hundreds of people, right? who knows how many people are going to be there, hopefully y'all, y'all listening will be there, but when we see people coming and coming in the store and buying stuff and taking pictures, like, I'm interested to see, like, I feel like we're just going to get overwhelmed with yeah. emotion and no, all I, kinds I, I of think stuff. So. And, you know, it, and I thought about this the other day, Brad. This is like, as much as we've done, this is just to get to the starting line. <laughs> yeah, like you, you know, yeah. and and I and I the correlation that I that I can make to this is like think of an Olympic athlete. Yeah, and that's the comparison I'm going to make here. Like you see him at the Olympics, you know, sitting on the starting block, like waiting for that gun start, you know, poof, waiting for that to to start the race, and that's. We're just trying to get there. Right. We're almost we're, there. We're just training. Yeah. Like, I mean, but like, you don't see, for an Olympic athlete, you know, obviously the people on TV, they see all that. But like, and we've shown some of this, but a, like, it is like what you've seen on, if you, if, if you follow our channels and you, and if you've happened to see every video, you've still only seen a fraction mm-hmm. of what we've ha- gone through. And we're like, and there, there is so much that we wish we had filmed. Dude. So much drama. So much. Tampa, like, what a, those, those videos, <laughs> like, oh my gosh, it, it would have been insane. Like we we, we we could have had a TV show on. Yes. Whatever some of those like it, it, drama TV channels if, are. <laughs> yeah, if you like watching like HGTV and the, yeah. and, and all all that drama is fabricated. If if we had had a camera, like it. <laughs> And none of it was fake. <laughs> none of it was fabricated. You know, oh, it was man. just like holy smokes. So you you have seen a small fraction of like the, the what the anguish, the suck, the pain, the like literal like blood, sweat, and tears that has gone into to get to even get to the starting point. Like, but that's how an Olympic athlete is. Like they have, they go for years right. of training and like work and just suck and pain to get to the starting block, and that's what we're just trying to get to. Race hasn't even started yet, bro. Right, I know. And we what we've gone Crazy. through. But we're close. We're, we're very so close. close. I'm it's excited. Amazing. We're very Can't excited. We're only two weeks away. About having people there and it being a living, breathing thing mm-hmm. with it, it, a store. Because we have a lot of ideas and th- things that we want to do once that store is up and running. And I, I feel like, and this wasn't the original plan either, but I believe we're going to be in the store a pretty decent amount, at least for yeah. the first you know, two, three weeks. There's a good chance at least one of us will be there any given time of the day, yeah. Every day, helping at some point in the yeah. day, one of the three of us, which we've if hired not all of us. We've hired some great people. Like, yeah. really excited about the people we have on board, and we still need more help. Um, and we'll still be hiring. And I think once the stores open, we've talked about like people will be a lot more excited and be like, "Oh man, I want to work here." Yeah. And uh, once the people can see it and touch it and feel it, and it's a real thing. Um, but we ha- we have some amazing people already that are helping. But I, we we will still need to help. Mm-hmm. I feel like so. We will be in store. It, that's not the long term plan, um, and we're going to document some of that. Most likely, that'll kind of be our videos for a minute. You know, maybe I don't know. Uh, us being in the store we might still get to fish occasionally, but yeah. fishing might take might, some of y'all fishing. So yeah, yeah. snag some people from the store. Yeah, which I do plan on doing that. Some I don't know how much we'll be able to do that in the first couple of weeks because I may literally be like working in the store, you know, to a degree. Yeah, you know, helping people, which I'm excited. It'll be about. fun. Yeah, it will be fun. Like showing people around and helping them get outfitted or whatever the heck it is they're looking for. Yeah. Pretty sick. That's what's interesting. Like even the work we've been doing up until now, and obviously when we're working in the store after we open, like it's weird how like, like when I was doing tile work, like I'm getting paid to go out here and work hard and do tile. And it's like, Oh, this sucks. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm getting paid, but like, then we go over here and we're getting paid 
on the back end. Right. We're eventual, not like hourly eventually. employees. Yeah. Like I, we're yeah. not keeping track of our hours and getting right. paid every Friday or anything like that. <laughs> right, but like, right. It's almost more fun. It is. Even though we're... You're not getting we're, paid. We're not... Do, we're, yeah. We're kind of yeah. doing it for free. Yeah. But it's like more fun. Yeah. I don't, I don't really know why, but... No, I, I, I totally get what you mean. Yeah. It, it's, I guess it's because they've said you don't have to do it. Yeah. You know, it's like one of those things like you're doing it because you're taking an ownership mindset. It's, mm-hmm. You know, you're not an employee like that has to be there that like if you show up, if you don't show up, you're getting fired. Right. It's like you don't have to be there. Um, obviously, we want to be there because yeah. we you know, are buying into this and want it to succeed. So it's just a different mindset. Yeah. And I think that's why we take more enjoyment out of it, you know, I guess. It helps that we can like maybe have a beer or two. <laughs> <laughs> no rules. That makes maybe. it a little bit better. That's right. I told Courtney this morning it it would be nice because like today is my ideal day. Like I wish I could live my life in a way where I have a routine because there's no routine. Oh no. <laughs> but I wish today like I could live every day like today because I got up. I wanted to get up a little earlier, which I didn't. But I'd like to get up and drink coffee, which I did do that. I had enough time for that. But like get up, drink coffee, read, you know, book whatever, med- you know, meditate, take some time, for, you know, re- reset. But I'd like to get up at like five thirty or six a.m. Do that, work out, and then after the workout, start my day. Yeah, um, that would be nice. And, you know, like, and that's, and that's what I was able to do today, um, you know, but basically come do a podcast or whatever content we're creating. But, like, our life, it just is, I can't, that's not, I, I can't do that every day. That's a tough thing you with, know? like, our videos right now, and that's why we want to hopefully be able to transition into more podcast and more tackle store kind of stuff and, and just see where it takes us. But, because, like, majority of the time if you're going to make a fishing video you got to go first thing in the morning right so that just scraps everything you just said yeah yeah you can't do that and then for me i'm bad like i'm way there's way better of a chance that i'm gonna work out if i work out in the morning if if it's like after lunch there's a really good shot that i'm gonna say screw it i'm not working out but don't you just feel so much better i do like uh, even even if you way better like we work out we work out a lot midday because that kind of works out especially if i fish I can fish in the morning, get back in time to be there at 12, you know, work out, eat lunch. But, like, I just, if I don't – like, yesterday was our rest day, which I'm, I'm trying to be more intentional about taking that just, you know, for my body and everything. But it almost throws me off now because I'm so accustomed. You know, I've been doing it for six months now where I'm yeah. very consistent. And it's just like I'm so just – it's a part of what I do. Like, I feel off if I don't get that workout in. But, like, if I get a workout – Like, what am I doing? I know. I just feel better. I feel more motivated. And so y'all take off Sundays too, right? Yeah. Because they're closed. Yeah. So, yeah. So Sundays. So you're working out five days a week now. Yeah. Nice. I mean, sometimes we will do something ourselves on Sunday, but nothing crazy. Like we'll run or just get a little, do some, move around. A yeah. Little bit, do something. So. Try to just whatever, but not like weightlifting. Yeah. Because that's what's really hard. Get like, those muscles to break. That's right. These big guns. Yeah. 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 You do working have some on, big muscles I know, there, man. buddy. I'm working on it, you know, trying to Looking good. pump up. Yeah. Uh, it's not, you know, it, it, it's, it's weird. You know, we, we talk about fitness someone here, but like, and it, it's been a, it's been very helpful for me throughout this entire process. Like it's, it, it is so important that I continue doing it because it, it has helped me in this, in this journey with the business, just mindset, burning off some Fo- anger. Yes. And focus. Like, frustration. Yeah. Like, I mean, stress, all those things. Like, you know, I walked in yesterday um, and we, it was kind of a tense morning yeah there was just a lot like and i wasn't expecting that was everybody just, was just <laughs> everybody, yeah, everybody was a little tense <laughs> yesterday <laughs> we walked in and i was like just positive like i was yeah. just in a positive mindset and i don't know that i would be there without the the time that i've taken to exercise and take care of my body and all like i think i you just have so much more built up everything anger frustration stress like all that yeah, would just be built yes, up and yes yes you end up. You'd end up breaking at yes. some point. Yeah, it, I'd come in and just be like, "Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> rolling rage." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's it's just been so helpful. And, and when I started working out, you know, obviously every time you start working out, you just you feel out of shape, and you're like, "I want to look better," and all right. that stuff. And but really, just what's more important is just the men- mental side of things. Like, really, it's so important to get your mental capacity because here's the thing and i and i was talking to courtney about this i was like i think i love it so much because i i leave my phone in the car i don't even take my phone in the gym so like it's an hour in which i, I before this stuff i would check my phone 
a lot. I check it way more now, even, you know, like Shopify and <laughs> uh, <laughs> like all the things. Like there's just a million things at any given time I can look at my there's phone. There's so many analytics check. between Facebook analytics, YouTube analytics, and the store. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> like are we selling anything? Yeah, yeah. Is anybody watching my video? By the time you like rotate through them all, it's, you can just Did rotate. Anything else posed? Yeah, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, no, it's just, it's a, it's so, yeah, it's so stupid. But we, we look at it so much, but also just like messages and e- emails and like, because it's even more than what it used to be now. I mean, I'm not even talking about from, from people that watch because I don't even check that anymore. I ain't yeah. got time for that. But like just, you know, you guys and the, and our colleagues and vendors and whatever, like a, you know, or somebody that's wanting a job, like it's just always just something, yeah. you know? It's a lot. But like for an hour in the gym, I leave my phone in the car. I don't even care. You know, you, you're not going to get in touch with me uh, for that hour. Yeah. And, I, and I'm literally not thinking about anything other than breathing and counting. For an hour, yeah. I mean, which which is so it's, therapeutic. It's good to give your body that break. Yeah, like your I mean, mind, because there, there's not space for. Because, and I think what's helpful too is you know, a lot of people are are anti CrossFit and all that for a lot of reasons, but like I think if I just went to the gym and just did some you know, hard workouts, but like you know, just weightlifting kind of stuff that's kind of slow pace or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know that it would be as therapeutic for me because like CrossFit, there's not freaking space in your mind because it's such an intense workout right. for anything You're else. You're not like taking two minute breaks. Yeah, it's not like I can just kind of lollygag and like, and look at my phone in between. Yeah. You know, like it's like, you're just, you go to the next thing. Right. No, it ain't like that. Like you're, you're moving so fast. Like I, I, I can't, there's no space in my brain to even think about, Oh, I wonder what my video is doing or, Oh, I wonder how much we sold today or, right. Oh, I, you know, this, that, or the other, Oh, you know, all the things that we think about in any given moment, it ain't there. Yeah. So it's like, it's, it's very much like therapy for me. That's awesome. I need to come try CrossFit with you one day. It, it, I, nice. I feel like now that I'm working out a little bit, like before a couple of months ago, I would have been like, there's well, no been, way I would, fine. I would have died. No, I, you, but, well, you modify whatever. I still modify like, Every, I, I'm still a baby, you know, in, in CrossFit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, I still modify everything. Like, everything's mo- and so anybody. Can and I, I definitely still would have to modify, but I feel like I have built up some stamina and a little bit of strength to where, like, I, I, I could actually do, do it a little some bit of the things. Feel better about it. Yeah, I understand. Without yeah. being like, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, you'll still do that. I was doing that today <laughs> <laughs> when we went down to um, wherever we were, Naples, Naples. Yeah, and me, you, and Courtney got up, and I just felt like a. Little B, <laughs> like you, you we're did like fine. running and doing push ups, and they're like, you don't even hear them breathing. And then I'm running down the, the street, like, everybody, if anybody in the neighborhood is standing outside right now, they're hearing me huffing and puffing. <laughs> you did fine, like, you kept up fine, but, you'd be fine. And that, I mean, that's that was somewhat of a CrossFit workout, you know, you yeah. know, I mean, because it's like you're you're running and then you're doing some resistant stuff, and then you're, you know, like, it's it's a lot of that, like cardio plus resistance stuff, you know. So you got a taste of kind of what that's like. Yeah. It's, it's like that. Yeah, I'm going to try it out. But, you know, in that moment, were you thinking about anything? No. Uh, you were thinking about, you know, just <laughs> breathing. Yep. Yeah, yep. Make sure you're breathing. <laughs> you, you know, if you're doing some push ups, you're just counting your reps. And then don't you're like, fall over. Don't throw up. And then you're like, <laughs> and then you're like oh, crap. I got to go run another 200 meters or 400 meters or whatever yeah. it is. You know, so let me get this done. How many, how many rounds am I at? Like three, four. Like yeah. that's seriously like what's running through your head doing these workouts and there's no there's no space for anything else and i had my first experience of like pushing myself so far that i literally thought i was just gonna throw up yeah like last week yeah that's on cool. the bike oh, i yeah. worked out first did weights and then got on the bike and it was like at the, so at the end of the thing it tells you like your total output mm-hmm. and it'll also there's like a leaderboard where you can see other people that are riding to the same thing you're riding but it'll also tell you um like your pb um, output mm-hmm. and it'll kind of keep track. So like the so you can the, compete right. You can with compete yourself. with your best score. Yeah. And so that particular day, I was like, I'm beating this freaking thing. Yeah, that's right. And so my previous was like 319, and I'd only gone over 300 twice. And that day, I did 368. Oh my goodness! And like I was at the end of sounds it, sounds like a big jump. Like I, cause you have one minute of like recovery where you just like barely even pedal. And I like texted Cordy. I was like. I could literally throw up on the bike right now. Nice. Like I felt so. But you bad. didn't. No, oh, I didn't. Yeah. That's, that's good. But it was. I like, mean, if you, I, if you throw up, that was okay. the first time where I've like literally drained my body. That's awesome. Other times I can like get up and walk inside. I'm like fine, but I was like, I think I sat there on the bike for probably like ten minutes, just like, okay, don't pass out, <laughs> <laughs> don't die. <laughs> Yeah, that that's what's uh, cool about CrossFit working at work workouts. You have your Wattify app, and you know you can put it. You do these workouts, and you can always put your information in. So like. 
you'll they kind of show up again, like the same Metcon or whatever, and you can see what you've done before, and you you can try to compete with yourself and try to do better right. and try to push yourself. Or you know, they're times. So like that also even the workout itself. You know, you may like today it's a twenty minute time cap, and you're trying to do as many rounds as possible. So like you know, you may get done with a round and you've got like two and a half minutes left. If you're trying to push yourself, you're like, all right, I'm gonna try to push another round, you know, cause you got that. So like you have something you're kind of up against right? and you know, you're not competing with anybody else. You're just competing with yourself. You know, you're just trying to push yourself. So yeah, I push like today I, I was in that, in that time and I went heavier on weight than I typically do in on, for different things during that workout. And like at the end of the workout, I just like fell out on the yeah. floor, you know, which I don't always, <sighs> I'm not always that tired where I like just can't even move. And that's how I was today. I was like, Oh my gosh. Yeah. But it felt, but it feels so good. You know, yeah. like it just feels good to put your body through that. And, and, and that's the thing too. Like, you know, I've learned about myself with, with the exercise and this business endeavor that, and, and it, my brother kind of put it in perspective for me because I've been through hard times in life where there was no, end goal or there was no vision right and I, you, you just feel like you're stuck you're just, like it you're just never sucks get out of it. Yeah, yeah like when we were selling life insurance and we weren't making any money and there was just there was no direction but it was just like life was hard yeah difficult and at, at that point in time like there was never even a thought in your mind of like all right well i could just go do youtube and then i can pay my bills and <laughs> right I'll start a tackle so like those what we're doing now is like not even an option like right. you could have never even dreamed no. of that the, you'd no. be doing this so you, you feel like you're literally stuck yes like you're just it, and and so many people are in that place mm -hmm. where the, life is hard and it sucks it's struggle and that is not fun that is not a fun place not to at be. all been there with you but there's a there is a different struggle that that is fun that it sucks but it's enjoyable you know, which is as confusing as that sounds, but with with exercise, there, there's a vision, there's right. a goal, there's a result. You, you know what the outcome is going to be if yes. you keep doing it. Yeah, you, it sucks. It's hard, but it feels good. And then the same thing with this business. You know, just like we were talking about, there's so many things along the way that are like, yeah, this sucks, but there's a vision, there's right. a goal, there's a result. Like we know we're working towards something bigger, and th that we will get there if we just continually put ourselves through these hard times that we right. know are going to be there and there's going to be more. Absolutely. And, and, but you know, we know if we can push through it and we can get to the other side of each, each little hurdle, each little thing. And we just keep, we just keep moving, keep moving forward. We don't quit. We're going to get somewhere, yeah. you know, and, and we can see that we know what that is. We know where we want to go. So there, there's a difference. So I've learned that I love struggle and hard and right. suck. Like it, I thrive in it, but there, there's a caveat here. It has to be attached to a Towards, vision yeah. and a goal. Lead you um, to where you want to go. So that uh, hopefully that helps you. You know, maybe that helps you understand your life. You know, if you're in just hard times, difficulty and suck, it sucks. If there is no direction, no vision, nothing that you're moving towards, I get that. I've been there. But you, it, you need to find a vision. Yeah, you definitely got to have that. My brother shared a video on Facebook this morning that was talking about, like, overthinking. And the guy quoted a um, uh, uh, quote he quoted a quote from a book i can't remember exactly what the quote was but it was very similar to what you just said like when you're stressed about that like don't think you don't necessarily have to think about everything that has to be done to get to that goal just what's the next step right like don't worry about yes all the stuff just quit thinking about all the stuff just what's the next step that's going to get me to my goal whether that's waking up tomorrow morning and working out don't think about it's going to take me three months to right. get the muscles I want. Like, what can I do today? What, what can I do today yep. to, to get to that next step? Just go to that next step and yep. don't don't stress all the other stuff. And but also quit worrying about all the crap. Yeah, like what you know. For us today, we got to go and take reels out of boxes and set them yeah. up. And like, I mean, it's not that's obviously not that bad compared to some of the crap we've done. Yeah, it's, but it's, it's not. Fun. It's easy. It's just time consuming. Right. It's te tedious. Tedious. Yeah. Um, you know, but it's got to get done. And again, like, what can we do today? Like, we're not going to open open up a, an entire tackle store with the efforts that we can put in today, but it's going to move the needle. Right. You know, so Every uh, little absolutely, bit counts. absolutely just focus on today. I mean, obviously you got to have that vision, that goal, but you got to understand like it take, this is what it takes, yeah. you know, just a lot of work, yeah. a lot of suck. I saw something this morning too from Rob Deerdick and he was talking about, there's like he, three, you know, uh, I'm going to pause for a second. I want you to say what you're going to say. I'm very shocked. I've seen a lot of stuff from him. I did not realize how like, Smart. I didn't either. And motivational he is. Like I just know him from like Robin Big. I know he seems like Fantasy an idiot. Factory, yeah. and he's just like a skateboarder yeah, that has fun. <laughs> but he's but a, he's he's brilliant. 
He's got to be the most organized it's, entrepreneur. It, like it, He shocks me the most. Like You would not have seen it coming from him. No. That he's like literally, literally he has every like a second map. of his day yes. is a spreadsheet. It's impressive. It's insane. Yes. Like, I wish I could be that way. It's just, you. there's other people that I would have way seen that coming before it came yeah. from him. He, he even he, talks about him. like him and his wife's marriage is like really down to that. Th- like, they keep track of every little thing and they make sure that he was like, um, we don't just like try to do one date night once a week whenever we can. Like we know we need to do these certain things and we set away the time and he's like, it's, it's crazy. It's awesome. Sorry. Say what you were going to um, say. Sorry. I just but he was saying like your mind, your, your mindset is going to be one of three places. Like you're either in the presence and you're focused on what's happening now and you're enjoying what's happening and you're, you're actually paying attention to what's happening um, or to one extreme, you're worried about the future. And then the other extreme, you're dwelling on the past He's like, you cannot let yourself swing too far one way or the other. You've got to either be um, like, look towards the future, uh, but don't worry about the future. Like what, what we just talked about, like what's the next steps to get to my goals? Don't, don't think about like, we, we do kind of stress a little bit about the tackle store, but sure. we're not so worried about like, are we going to be able to reach this goal at this certain time? Like we plan for the future and do those things. And then also don't dwell on the past. Like if there's something in your past that's, holding you back for something else like figure out what you need to do to fix that don't don't just sit there and dwell on it all the right. time so you gotta just like don't you have to keep your mind from swinging too far one way or the other and that makes a lot of sense and, and best to stay present if you can and, and enjoy the moments that's and, very true i mean that that is there is only three places your mind can be yeah. now past present, future hmm. yeah. that's very very so, uh don't worry insightful. about the future and don't dwell on the past yeah. basically what he was saying yeah I mean, and it's hard to do yeah because I still, I mean, I still worry about a lot of stuff, even though I, I worry about things that I shouldn't even be worried about. Oh, and, yeah. and we've kind of talked about this, like you have a down month on Facebook and YouTube. And you're like, oh, you just like feel like I always just have this feeling of like, crap, I'm going to have to go do tile again. or I'm going to have to go <laughs> run some trips. Starts creeping up, that doubt. Do something. Yeah. I know. And I'm and like, I'm with you, man. I get it. I'm like, Brad, there's literally no reason for right. you to be worrying about this right now. Yeah. Like, it's fine. Yeah. Just go no, unpack some rails. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> get to work, man. No, no. Yeah, I, you're right. I, I feel it too. Um, it it does it does creep up on you, but it's uh, we have so much potential. And and the thing about it too, like right now, we're in a space that like we haven't been able to focus so much on our content as much as we right. want. Like if this wasn't going on, we'd be doing fine on our content side. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if our full hundred percent focus is like seven days a week, I have blocked off that I can go fishing and create content. I'd probably be doing just as well as I have the last couple of years, right. but we're not. I explained this to Courtney. I was like, so before we started this project, but there's a reason for it. I mean, obviously we're, you know, building something that's theoretically <laughs> going to propel right. us a lot Absolutely. further. Um, so we're willing to make that sacrifice. But like normally uh, past years, I've got seven days that, you know what, I can go fishing if I need to. Uh, one or two of those days, you're going to have to scratch off the list just because of conditions right. or whatever. And then, so you now you've got five days that you can go fishing. And if I fish all five of those days, I'm probably at most going to end up with maybe three videos. You know what I mean? Which is what the schedule that, that I've been on. Mm-hmm. You know, I've been able to post two or three videos consistently per week right. up until now. But now it's like, okay, we take seven days yeah. um, <laughs> that we could go fishing. Um, scratch one or two of those off for weather. Now we've got five. And of those five, well, we're probably right now going to be spending at least three of those days doing something with the tackle store. Yeah. At least. Where, you know, probably not going to be. I mean, the fish. last few weeks we've been doing interviews one day a week. Mm-hmm. And then we haven't really been keeping up a podcast. We've been doing other stuff in the warehouse or at the tackle store. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a million things to do. So yeah. scratch that off. And I feel like we're always behind. <laughs> so, we are. And so now you've got two days, yeah. which, which is about what I'm out averaging fishing per week, where I get to go actually try to make a video two days per week. And you're probably going to end up with maybe one, one video. video. Yeah. And that's what I've been posting. So like that that's the difference. So now I'm, I'm basically a third of the amount of content that I have mm-hmm. put out in the past. So, if, you know, you're, you're probably going to be making about a third of the money <laughs> that you've made in the past. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's just kind of what it is, but you know, we're willing to make that sacrifice for now. You know, if this goes away tomorrow and we got it, I, I don't want it to, I mean, obviously I believe in this and I want this to, to go further, but mm-hmm. like, you know, we could fall back on that, but it's almost like you're back to spending. Your I wheels. know we've like talked about like, we're very ambitious with what we're doing right now. Oh, and yeah. We've talked about, 
everything we want to do and everything we're going to do and the businesses we're going to start. Obviously, we, there's no guarantee any of those are going to be successful, but <laughs> right. yeah. we have such a vision and high expectations for ourselves that the thought of going back to just posting three fishing videos a week and that's the max of our life is just like... It, it, uh. it, which is weird because like that sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, I know. You, you know, when I first started this, I was like, that, that that's the goal. Yeah. That's the dream. But it, it, it's it, it's changed. It, it definitely has. Cause that's crazy because I even I don't remember if you I don't know if you remember this conversation. But when you were, I think you were getting close to stop guiding. I hadn't even started doing any guiding yet, and really. I probably shouldn't be guiding because I really didn't even know exactly what I was doing yet. <laughs> I didn't either. But I, I hated my job working for the builder. And like I, like, I was like, if I could be like Matt and just not be like, but if, if, right. but if my job was just running fishing trips, like that would be freaking amazing. And so I, I texted you about it. I was like, man, if you got any extra trips or if you want to just pay me less, you can make a little bit of money and I'll just run them for you or whatever. Um, and I was just like that, but, but now like I, I'm like, <laughs> no. No. it's so it's a hard so game. Like, every, every time you take these different steps and you like move on to the, the next thing, because you don't want to go back. When I did go full time guiding and you weren't guiding and Brant wasn't guiding and I'm like watching y'all get just to <laughs> fish for yourselves whatever you want. I'm like, man, that looks. Like <laughs> I'm still fishing, but like not really. Right? No, I I get it, but it, I think just the regression is yeah. what what we fear. That's yeah. That's it, a good word. Yeah. Is, is that, uh, you know, not that it's bad, not that, you know, that's a sucky life. It's not. It's just we don't want to go backwards. Yeah, We just want, want to stay pushing forwards. And and that it's just, it is crazy when you think the journey that we've all been on and, like, how we started and the, the steps that we've gone to get to where we're at and, like, and just constantly thinking forward and pushing forward. You know, and we even, like, you know, this is a big step, but, like, we even already know our – the next things yeah like there's so many things that we want to continue achieving and accomplishing yeah, absolutely like we're not slowing down no, no, it's crazy soon. how fast it all happened like how many years ago was it that you like weren't even sure if you were going to have enough money to pay your bills that that month <sighs> probably i mean the year that i started youtube so that was 2017 2017 that, that so year was a very six diff- years ago very difficult year Where's that right? yeah six years ago yeah it was not that long ago. No. I mean, and, four and even years 2018, ago. I'm sure. Uh, I'm, I mean, I think we were doing okay in 2018 because, like, I was guiding and uh, evidently God was smiling upon me because I don't remember having to cancel a whole lot of trips because <laughs> of weather <laughs> and conditions. Yeah. Whereas now, like, it feels like that would be all the time. Um, but yeah, no, I think I was, we were doing fine. I, I think I remember we had probably, I think it was that year because Courtney was still singing also. Yeah. And so we got paid a lot of cash because I was, guiding a lot of people pay me cash she got paid in cash for your eggs a lot of tips and all that and i think we had like ten thousand dollars in cash and like that was basically our savings yeah um but like when i had that i felt really good i remember being yeah. like Whew. you know just yeah. having ten thousand dollars you know that yeah. like because we were able to we were still having like, money coming in like maybe you've never done that before no like, it, like holy crap, we yeah. had it we it was money that we didn't have to touch like it, we had money coming in and all this so like we had this ten thousand dollars that like and it and it grew I, I can't remember what that cash got up to but we didn't have to touch it like we didn't ever have to dip into it like yeah. we had plenty of money coming That's in a good feeling. so it was like you know amazing how how good i felt and now i feel even worse than i did then <laughs> <laughs> like, i know it's a weird yeah. it's a weird place but i but you know what i, I thought about that and i and I've seen some things, and it kind of makes sense. I, I think it's okay to, um, if you're an ambitious person and you want to grow, like I think it's, it's okay to not be comfortable mm-hmm. with your situation. Absolutely. Because like I feel like if I were just like, if I'm where I'm at right now, I'm like, oh, I'm good. I don't need, you know. If you get to that, you're way less motivated. Yeah. I feel like it's okay to be like, oh, you know, it's coming. You mm-hmm. know, like whatever this bad thing is, it's coming. You know, Absolutely. you're trying to keep the monster away and you're, you're constantly fighting and pushing forward and motivated. I feel like that's a good thing. Yeah. And again, we know where our goal is. And so like the thought of sitting here and making the same amount of money, is just like not that exciting. Right. I was watching something Grant Cardone was talking about the other day and he was like the first, he, was, he said one year he made $650,000 and he like felt amazing. Yeah. He's like, this is a ton of money. He was talking to somebody else about it. And they're like, how do you live on $650,000? Like, there's no way I could live on that kind of money. And so it's like, 
obviously everybody gets to these different right. points, but like when you get to like four years ago, I'd have never imagined that I'd be making what I'm making now. And then I make a little bit more money and you're like, okay, this like, <laughs> yes, we can live on it. Yes. Right. It's, like we, we've been sure. somewhat successful, but you're like, that, that's nowhere even close to like what we, uh, other people look at us be like, Oh, it's not that. Yeah. How are no, you yeah. Even surviving? I know for real, dude. Uh, it's, it's crazy, but life is more expensive in general. Absolutely. We live very frugal, but the, but the things that I want to accomplish and do, it, it just takes money. And it's not like I want to go buy a new car. Like, I, don't, I mean, I'm going to have to at some point. Yeah. I'm kind of worried about that, uh, that day coming. Cause I really love the bummy mobile so much. It is nice. But uh, you know, I don't care about I mean, things. You can dump enough money into it that you don't have to get rid of it. That's true. I mean, you can buy a new engine. I don't. I mean, I don't want to do that. It's a lot of money. I mean, I put. I have put a lot of money into right. it. Every year, I put it like, it like as far as tune ups and replacing. I mean, it's three or four grand. I'm not talking about just regular maintenance, which I keep up with that. But like, I usually have to spend three or four thousand dollars in yeah. one, one chunk every year. Just keep it going. Yeah. I know when you were. I was walking in from the parking garage. And it was probably as soon as you pulled in the parking. She she makes a she has yeah a she has got a, she got a line yep she got a line. So as soon as you got in, like I thought you were like almost to the top of the ramp. But I turned around, I was like, hey, oh, he's not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then like took you a minute. You got up the top of the ramp. I was like, she's struggling. I, I heard struggling. her purr since she got in the door. <laughs> <laughs> that line has been around a long time, and and evidently it's fine. I mean, I've it's not, it's, every mechanic that I've ever taken to, I always bring it up. I'm like, it's got the spine, and you know, like, oh, we'll check it out and. You, know. you must have a good mechanic. Yeah, <laughs> Most mechanics will be like, oh, yeah, you that's got, you got to change this yeah. and this and this. And I mean, I don't hit it, you for another thousand bucks. Yeah. <laughs> and, I've, and I've paid a lot of money and I've done times where it's like, oh, if you're going to fix it, fix it now because yeah. I'm, I'm willing to write the check. But, you know, they just are like, hey, yeah. this is fine. I mean, she runs good. She got us down to June of last year. She's doing good, man. I mean, starts up. She took us to Tampa, too. Did we go, in ta- go to Tampa? Yeah. And that? Yeah. Because yeah. we, we uh, did the valet. <laughs> Oh, we, stayed yeah. at a, we stayed at a nice hotel <laughs> that, downtown. Man, oh, and did the valet. And, yeah, we stayed at, at what was the name uh, of the hotel? Uh, it was a Hilton. Hilton downtown. Um, it was not. It was a nice hotel, it was. like really nice hotel. And uh, you basically, I mean, you don't have to do valet there, but you pretty you much might as well. You pretty much have to. <laughs> yeah. And um, but you know, typically there, like even the crappy cars were just like you know nicer new cars. <laughs> it, it, right. it, I mean, or not as nice new cars. You know, not nice brands, but like everything was nice that was at this hotel. And then it's like the bu- <laughs> the bummy movie. Yeah. And every time they would come and get it, I'd be like, "Hey, man." I, I mean, I was, I was like, no, no, no. I told her, I said, "Y'all be careful with her now." <laughs> yeah. I was like, you know, she's gentle. You yeah. Know, you don't scratch you her. Gotta be easy, dude. Uh, speaking of that, you know, obviously I don't care because it's you know you've seen my car. But uh, the la- one of the last times I went to Okaloosa to fish here recently. I didn't realize it until I got home, but somebody's freaking sideswiped me. I have, I'll show you when I walk out here. It's a huge like scratch, on, like like you can see the dang car. I mean, it's bad. Was it? It was at o- was it Okaloosa or Navarre? It, some, it was Okaloosa. Oakaloosa, somebody backed into your rod. Yes, holder. like <laughs> I'm cursed there, yeah. man. <laughs> People need to learn to drive over I there. Mean, really, but I got home and I, I mean, it's like bad. I mean, if it was like a nice car, I'd be very upset. But like, I was like, somebody freaking slaps like me, man. But you know, it's <laughs> crazy. It's fine. That's what I love about having that car is like something. Like, like, oh, yeah. Whatever. Screw it. I don't care. You know, know. my truck is so close to being paid off. I was thinking about this the other day. I got my, I bought my first truck myself and took on a car payment when I was 19. And I've had a car payment ever since. Obviously really? not the same cars, but I'm 31 so what's that 12 years yeah 12 years i've had a car payment and i'll still have courtney's car payment but i'm just like so, so close how, how like, close are you how i think are you? there's like seven thousand left okay. something like that but you'll, you'll probably end up, you know uh, i know i'm like part of like my interest rate is good especially compared to what interest rates are now yeah then i'm like is it really worth just paying it off when i can just like pay this small percent of interest but then at the same time i'm like if I just paid it off, like that would feel so good. Yeah, not have have that payment. So I've been going back. I've been paying like each month. I pay way more than I'm supposed to to bring Get it down, down faster and save on some of that interest. But I, I, I it's been a while since I've had a uh, car payment. You know, the last car payment I had, that car got repossessed. Nice. That was in 2017. Yeah. So that I had a Hyundai Sonata, and it, it was a new car that I bought because like. If you're gonna finance something, I've always been like, just get a new car. Like, I mean, if you're gonna pay cash, get right. used. But like, if you're gonna finance something, get the warranty. Yeah, and all like, the good stuff. It doesn't. I mean, it, you know, just go ahead and pay for the new car. Um, 
But uh, yeah, I had a Hyundai Sonata and because I was selling insurance and it got like 35 miles a gallon or whatever. And um, but that car, so it got repossessed, but it um, so our address we use for everything is our UPS box mm-hmm. for re- several reasons, but because I don't like people knowing where I live. <laughs> right. Um, for obvious reasons. Um, so that car sat in my in my driveway for three months and it didn't run because I don't know it was a hybrid, but I don't know if because I didn't wasn't making the payment if they had a way to disable it, which I don't think they do. I think that's like in a buy here, pay here lot. Yeah. They, they can do that, but like th- I bought it from the Hyundai dealer. So I don't think that they can do that. But for whatever reason the car wouldn't start. Um I don't know if the battery or whatever and I of course couldn't afford to fix it. Um, so I was just waiting for them to come and repossess it because <laughs> like, I knew. I, please come get it out yeah, of my driveway. Right. <laughs> and so I like it, it had been sitting there for like three three months. We had not made the payment for I don't know how long. Like you know because it takes a while before they actually right. repossess it. But I knew it was at that point like that they because I'd gotten the letters and all this stuff. And I'm like just come get it. And but I was I dawned on me one day. I'm like why have they not coming out this car yet? And so I called them and I'm like hey. Yeah, like I, I legit called. Are you gonna come get this? <laughs> I, like, I legit called him. I said, "Hey, um, my car." Because I was gonna, I would have just taken it to him. Like I, yeah. I'm not gonna steal your car. Yeah. You know, uh, I just could, it just wouldn't. It didn't run. And so I called him. I said, "Hey, the car doesn't run. Um, I can't afford to fix it. I don't know what's wrong with. it. I don't know if you guys disabled it or whatever. I don't know if you can do that." But I said, "You know, it, it, it's here. You can come get it." And they're like, they pulled it up. They're like. Oh, we. They said we've been looking for it. They're like, "Are you not at this address?" I said, "Oh, no, no, no." I said, "That's my UPS." I said, "I'm here. You know, yeah. you, you can come get it." So they came the next day and picked it up. That's funny. Yeah. So that was that was the last time I had a car payment. Yeah. But I didn't pay it. Yeah. <laughs> the, the first car I bought was from a buy here pay here because I was 19. I had, I don't even know if I had any credit. If I did, sure. I probably had like one credit card, with like 200 dollars limit or something. Yeah. And I, I didn't even. I don't think I even needed to buy. A, Maybe I did. I think I did need to buy one. Um, but it was like, it was used as like a ten, twelve thousand dollar $12,000 truck. And I think I paid like 16% interest or something. Oh, yeah. And they did nice. have, they had the tracker and stuff plugged right. in under the bottom. Don't make so the payment. Come, yeah. Shut that thing off, man. So crazy how expensive those buy here, pay here. But I mean, if you if you don't have credit or bad credit, what are you, you need do? a car. Like, yep. <laughs> it's your only option. Yeah, that's all you can do. So you got to pay to play. Well, Brad, we didn't talk about what we said we we're going to talk. I know about, we can we can save it for another one. <laughs> yeah. but, you know, might be worth uh, bringing up. But not um, a lot of time left. Now. We 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 had a lot to get off our chest. Yeah. today it felt good. With it did feel good because you know we just uh, we got a big thing coming. I hope you guys can come to the grand opening. Yes, I hope you can come yes. and, and experience it. And it's gonna I, be fun. And um, it won't be fully where we want it. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. Yeah. Like we we like it, it's gonna be amazing. But like it's not. Like there's so much we want to do, yep. you know, and where there's so much on, on our, in our hearts and minds for the customer experience. And it's just not going to quite be there yet. We just can't. I don't know if it's possible. Like even yeah, like, give us a year and I don't know that we could ever really, we just yeah, got to get so going. There's so many things we want to do. And, yeah. It, yeah. It, it, so it's going to be amazing. I hope you can come. We want to meet you. Um, you know, so make, make plans. I, April 28th, 29th, 30th. Any and all of those days. Uh, yes. I don't know the times, like, but yeah, specifically, but just and just I think being like the times aren't going to be strict anyways. Yeah, we're going to be open. Sounds just, like we're going to be open from five a.m. to nine p.m. Right, it's like our store hours. Right, but there'll be like and so and if stuff. you're. If you're there a little early or stay a little late, like yeah. we're not going to kick people out. Oh like, heck no! If everybody's there, we're not going to set like an end time. Yeah. Like yeah, so just come by. Come yep. ch- come check it. Check out. it out. Oh yeah, felt good to finally knock out another podcast. It did, it man, and that was fun. That was uh, that was, we had to talk about some stuff. It felt so good. Yeah, sounds like we've been drinking some Bud Light. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we could have talked about that. <laughs> we got we, we had so many topics and we didn't yeah. even touch on them. You'll have to make sure to describe and stick around for the next podcast. So we're gonna talk about some Bud Light and some sargasm. Sargasm. Yeah. <laughs> Sargasm. Sargasm. sargasm is such a funny word. It's like <laughs> orgasm and sarcastic. It's yeah. like sarcastic orgasm. Is that like a fake orgasm? I mean. <laughs>